History of Guinea-Bissau, published December the 9th, 2017. Special characters are denoted as follows. And left and right parentheses. Guinea-Bissau was dominated by Portugal from the 1450s to the 1970s. Since independence, the country has been primarily controlled by a single party system. Part 1, Portuguese Rule Part 1, Portuguese Rule Chapter 1, Struggle for Independence Amilcar Cabral was assassinated in Conakry in 1973, and party leadership fell to Aristides Pereira, who later became the first president of the Republic of Cape Verde. The peer IGC National Assembly met at Bo in the southeastern region and declared the independence of Guinea-Bissau on 24 September 1973 and was recognized by a 93-7 UN General Assembly vote in November. Part 2. Independence from Portugal Following Portugal's April 1974 Carnation Revolution, it granted independence to Guinea-Bissau on 10 September 1974. Luís Cabral, Amilcar Cabral's half-brother, became president of Guinea-Bissau. Following independence local soldiers that fought along with the Portuguese army against the peer IGC guerrillas were slaughtered by the thousands. A small number escaped to Portugal or to other African nations. The most famous massacre occurred in Bissora. In 1980 Pia IGC admitted in its newspaper, No Pincher, dated the 29th of November 1980, that many were executed and buried in unmarked collective graves in the woods of Quimera, Portugal and Mansaba. In late 1980, the government was overthrown in a relatively bloodless coup led by Prime Minister and former Armed Forces Commander Joao Bernardo Vieira. Citation needed. The United States recognized Guinea-Bissau's independence on 10 September 1974. Part 3. Democracy. In 1994, 20 years after independence from Portugal, the country's first multi-party legislative and presidential elections were held. An army uprising that triggered the Guinea-Bissau Civil War in 1998, created hundreds of thousands of displaced persons. The president was ousted by a military junta on 7 May 1999. An interim government turned over power in February 2000 when opposition leader Kumba Yala took office following two rounds of transparent presidential elections. Guinea-Bissau's transition back to democracy has been complicated by a crippled economy devastated by civil war and the military's bred election for governmental meddling. Citation needed. Despite reports that there had been an influx of arms in the weeks leading up to the election and reports have some disturbances during campaigning, including attacks on the presidential palace and the interior ministry by as yet unidentified gunmen, European monitors labeled the election as calm and organized. This recording is a derivative work from Wikipedia. For more information, please visit www.frogcast.org.